Hi, this is Westwalk here. I'm going to show you how to use scene attributes dash using the gravity. So I'm going to create an actor and I'll put my bouncy ball image in there. I'll go under scene attributes and you can change the size of the screen. So say I want it to a thousand, then it's a thousand width. I can change it back to regular. And then wrap X will, as the actor moves, it will come back through the screen instead of usually, it will keep on moving and it won't come back. But if you wrap X, wait, let me put my actor on my scene. There and there. It comes back. And then say I did made it move up yeah okay and then I'd have to I'd go into scene attributes and put it on Y and there you go and then to show gravity you can change it to whatever you want Say I put it to 80. And then. Oh, wait. I have to. Ch I have to get rid of move off my actor. And now gravity will work. So I'll show you now. And then it drops slowly. And then I could create a platform. Then it could bounce on that. And what you have to do to your like platform actors is you have to go into them and you'd have to change the physics non movable fixed rotation. And you have to do it when. here to whenever it collides with actor 2 to bounce and then there you go and now back to my to the scene attributes you can change the color of the scene so say I wanted red I can change it to red or I want a green or I wanted a yellow and so you can change this to whatever you want or you can just click in here and change it and, and then camera there's the origin to where more you want the origin to start with you, you can't change the size because that's f for the iPhone like and the you can change the tracking area, say like whatever you move on a camera, you can show that. And so that's how you use the scene attributes in Gravity. So see ya.